Good day. In this video, we're going to learn how to use UC1 on Android. The app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store by searching for Broadsoft UC1. Once you have the application installed, you'll be prompted for an access code. Here we need to type EDMHH9. The app will then request permissions. Please accept all of these to ensure that the app functions as expected. You will then be presented with a login screen. Your username will be your extension at svsvoip.net. If you have not yet received a password, please contact your account manager. If you have forgotten your password, please contact support at scicom.io. Once you have logged in, you will land on the messages page. Here you can message other UC1 contacts. These messages can be swiped to the left to display additional options, such as delete or call. By tapping a contact, we can see our message history. We can then select the kebab menu on the top right of the screen to initiate a video call. We can leave the message page and open the nav bar by selecting the hamburger menu. Here we can easily access the different features available on the app. From the dial pad, we can phone numbers which have not yet been saved as contacts. As an example, I'm going to make a call to 010 140 5050. At the bottom of the screen, we have controls for speaker, mute, hold, additional options, and end call. On the favorites page, we can easily access contacts which are marked as favorites. I'm going to make a call to Naledi. Once I have selected this, I'm presented with the option to make a voice or video call. In this example, I'm going to start a voice call. To transfer this call, I'm going to select additional options and then select transfer. Here I will be selected with a search contacts page. You can search contacts by name, but in this example, I'm going to type in a colleague's extension. Once you have selected a contact, you can select the option to first call, which is an attended transfer. However, in this example, I'm going to use transfer to, which is an unattended transfer. UC1 also provides you with a groups page. This allows you to organize your own contacts and have them more easily accessible. On the directory page, we can search our company cloud PBX directory. We can also search for contacts that we have saved on the device. The call history tab will display all past calls from your number, whether made from your handset, desktop, or mobile UC1 instance. On the settings page, we have access to our do not disturb status. We can also control call forwarding from here. If any of these features are not available, please contact your account manager. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us.